Take your new microphone to be registered or paired and press and hold the power button to turn it on. Both blue lights should start flashing, indicating the mic is not registered to the 955 access. Flip the mic over and slide the battery door down. Pull the battery gently out of its compartment, leaving the wire attached. That reveals a small hole at the bottom right corner of the compartment containing the registration button. Set the mic aside so you can easily push the registration button with the paper clip when it's time to do so. Make sure that the 955 access is powered on and ready. That is indicated by a solid blue light on the front of the 955 access. Take an existing registered component such as a flex mic and press and hold the power button to turn it on. Wait for the one or two blue light to be solid. Flip the mic over and slide the battery door down. Pull the battery gently out of its compartment, leaving the wire attached, revealing the registration button. Press and hold the registration button for three seconds. This triggers the registration in the 955 access to begin. The number one and two yellow lights will begin blinking on the front of the 955 access. Then, briefly push the registration button inside the battery compartment of the new flex mic. Turn the mic over and notice that the blue lights will be blinking alternately. They will blink back and forth for a few seconds. The mic will lock in on either the number one or two light depending on whether you're registering an initial mic or adding a second mic. A solid blue light is the indicator that your microphone is registered and now working with the 955 access. You'll also notice that the lights that were blinking on the front of the 955 access have resolved. A corresponding green light will be illuminated on the front panel. This is another indicator that your microphone is registered to the unit.